guys welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in today we're just going to do a quick walk around on the bike show you what's been done all the different mods and um, just kind of give you guys a little uh, tour so stick around all right so starting front to rear we've got clear water lights we've got the switch all wired in for the uh, for the brights and for the horn so when you hit those uh, the fogs go full uh, full brightness otherwise there's a dimmer switch that's already on that's installed with the harness that allows you to run the lights consistently at a, at a dimmer um, setting so that you're not blinding people all the time. I've got the Outback MotorTech crash bars, upper crash bars, um, and then the Outback MotorTech skid plate. This is all aluminum skid plate. Love Outback MotorTech. They really took care of me when I damaged their skid plate last time. I was able to break one of those mounts on a hard hit. And uh, they replaced the skid plate for free with a reinforced model. Fantastic customer service. So Outback MotorTech, good on you. Uh, we'll totally be using them again. Graphics kit is uh, made by Upshift. It's a really great graphics kit. Everything was cut really nicely, really thick. Uh, I don't know what mill the thickness is, but it holds up really well to um, to scratches and tree branches and all that stuff that gets you know run across it. We got the let's see Alt Rider. Um, it's a double step you know rear brake pedal here. So when you're seated and when you're standing, it makes it a lot easier. So that way you can you can hit it in either place. I've got the stock header, but I've decatted it. There's a video of that on my uh, YouTube channel, so you can check that out. I cut it open. I have a TIG welder and everything, so I cut it open, gutted the cat, and then, um, you know, welded everything back together. It worked awesome, and it cost me nothing. So, if you have that ability, I totally recommend going that way. It sounds awesome. Um, really love the way that it, it brought the lower, you know, pop out at the lower RPM. SC Projects uh, Adventure Exhaust System I've got here. Um, also fantastic. I took the baffles out of that. And then um, let's see what else. I've got the Rottweiler uh, SAS canister delete, the Rottweiler fuel dongles, their stage three intake um, with their velocity stack. There's an install video on my Instagram for that as well. I mean, my uh, YouTube for that as well. So check that out. Um, I've got, I can't remember the model of this rear rack system right now. It's symmetrical, so it doesn't stick out further on one side or whatever to account for the exhaust. I'm running the Tusk Olympus tank bag here. Uh, fantastic tank bag. I had a KTM Power Parts tank bag before that. It was their, you know, their kind of big one. It just kind of got in the way. Much better size. KTM Power Parts seat. Um, it gives you two different height settings. I run it in the lower setting. And I'm not a particularly short fellow, but even on the lower setting, I'm one foot down on one side. I can barely tiptoe on both sides. It's a, it's a tall bike. So um, I hear the 21 models, they kind of change that around a little bit, but for this one, it's still tall. So um, let's see, anything else on this side? I've got like little KTM power parts pieces that, you know, caps and stuff that are on there. I've got the BRP bar mount here that has the vibration dampeners in it. And then the Scott steering stabilizer. It's all kind of a, a combined piece there. That works really well. Um, fantastic like I'm running the Motaz traction data rallies tires in here and those do put out some vibration down the freeway and this system gets rid of all of that vibration in the bars you do feel it in the foot pegs and in the, the frame a little bit or whatever but you really don't feel it when it comes to the actual bars so that's really nice all right so I'm running the Circa Pro Bend um, bark busters up here Rottweiler's bar end mirrors these are great these fold in if you ever hit and uh, on my last ride up in the Sierra I hit a lot and those folded in every single time no broken mirrors and honestly just a few little scrapes and stuff on the outside so really happy with that got the scott steering stabilizer here along with that brp bar mount that gets rid of a lot of uh, vibration that comes through the bars um, so really like i have a pretty smooth ride coming through these bars um, with considering the fact that i'm running those motos traction inner tires those things are really knobby, almost like a dirt bike tire. So you definitely would be getting some uh, some vibration, but these this pretty much gets rid of that. So really happy with that system. I'm, I would absolutely recommend that if you have any kind of like trouble, or your hands start to numb, you know, anything like that from like, vibration that's coming through your bars. Absolutely recommend that. <clears throat> um, I'm running the change that a little bit for you so you can see here. ASV levers. These are all adjustable, so you can change your uh, your pull distance on there. So clutch and brake lever 
those work really well really happy with those what else i do have the billet uh kickstand uh plate on the bottom to try to make sure it doesn't sink down as much with these heavy bikes like that that is definitely a problem and that helps a lot to have that that lever there or that uh cover yeah i think that's about it <laughs>